Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and today we've got a a run that was built by I think the name was Otaku Wannabe, and we've got ourselves a very heavy movement based run. So we're gonna start off with the Ice Angers, and then Chaotic Echoes because man, they're movement based. But then we've got the Earthen Aegis, and even though that's not necessarily movement-based, I imagine that's just for protection. And then lastly, good old Shock Assault. And of course, like I said, the idea is heavy movement. I think he said, he said himself, or it could be she, I'm not sure, I've never asked him. I've never actually asked anyone's gender on on my videos because honestly that feels a little rude. But the idea is constant movement. You want to do everything you can to make these movement arcana work for you. Which another thing I want to try one of these days is going into a run where you've just completed a run with Shadow but then you don't pick anything else for Shadow to be, so you actually go into the run with no bonuses or penalties at all. But anyway, moving on. I believe that, the, that there were two suggestions for Robe, which was Tempo or Shift. I'm going to take Shift. It's just something I dig, and the starting relic that was brought up was the Breezy Gray Canvas, which... You know, increases the chance to restore a dash charge and evade all attacks while dashing. Now, this might just be a personal thing, but... I, I kind of feel like there is a bit of a missed opportunity with this run, where you could have had the run start with the soccer cleats. That, to me, seems like it would have been a better starting item, but the greasy... Gre greasy? Yeah, the greasy chicken nugget. There you go. That's that's the relic now. But the the I almost said it again. The breezy gray canvas does have the notable two bonuses of one, sometimes restoring a dash charge when you go to use it, which means more of those shadows to come out and help you out. So I definitely see where they're coming from on that one. But second, and secondly, it also has that moment of invulnerability while you're dashing, which obviously that's quite nice. So, whereas I would have preferred to see something like the boots of celerity or the or the soccer cleats, I definitely get the idea of the of the breezy gray canvas. So we're gonna run with it. We're gonna run with it, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna start with Atlas because honestly I just want to get him out of the way. Seriously, screw that dude. So I personally would have started with a different starting relic, but I get this one and it definitely seems like it has its merits. Like, the one thing I'm not 100% sure on is why Urban Aegis? So, <clears throat> as had been promised, this is a very... This is a very movement-centric build. I, you can get a lot done just by running around with this build. And you know what? I can dig it. This also seems like a good contender for a Dark Katana. So if I find that, that will definitely work with just about everything I have. I mean, except for Chaotic Echoes, because apparently someone out there hates fun. 
and it's pretty clearly melee. You're just seriously just tackling people. How is how is that not melee? Now, it's not required that I beat as many enemies as possible with Chaotic Echoes, but I figure since that was one of the big impetus behind the, behind the building of the run in the first place, I might as well try it out and see how it works as one of the primary offensive forces. And, you know, it works out a lot better when you're not currently being hit-stunned by you know, stupid-ass ghouls. And there are times to just, you know, drop the hit, drop the dash, and just stab things with a dagger made out of frozen water. Ah, oh, that was a waste. Sure I'm glad I did that. Hmm. Well, once again, she doesn't want to help me upgrade my basic or my standard, so that's fun. On the other hand, this plays right into the movement-based nature of the run, and I'm... I don't know, I've kind of... Explosive Charge has kind of grown on me. Like, it's not every day that you that your entire modus operandi is, I'm gonna run past you and plant a bomb on your face. I mean, you can say that that's... Well, hey, speaking of Dark Katana... <laughs> like, that just kinda happened. That wasn't like a plan or anything, that was just like, Hey, I heard you like swords. And I was like, yes sir, I like swords. And then he said, well boy, how did do I have a sword for you? This is already looking like a pretty solid run. And Roxel's Pendulum. Alright, this is turning into quite the run here, I gotta say. So far, everything is working out very well for you, it's true. He even got early floor pewter bracelet, I mean, or early run, I should say. Okay, so I was going to say that I stand corrected on the Earthen Aegis, but it kind of feels like with the breezy gray canvas in and of itself, you already have a defensive option going on. But it's also very much that I'm one of those players that tends to, that tends to use their speed to their advantage. So I feel like I don't need an extra defensive option. But that's just me. Hello, Doctor. For science! Oh my goodness! 
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves a run. Look at that, 20 damage per dash, that's actually not bad at all. Yay, I'm smart! Alright, well I'm definitely thinking I want to try the Vampire's Eyeglasses, but I also want to see if Iris is going to sell me anything useful. If not, this would be the third run in a row where she was basically saying, yeah, fuck that dude. Like, did I do something to creep her out? Is that why she's... about me? Is that what's going on here? I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm a worse person than I give myself credit for. Getting really self-reflective over the idea of she doesn't want to sell me the upgraded arcanas. Is that normal? Is that healthy? Maybe I should calm down a little bit. Like, she didn't even want to sell me an upgrade to an explosive, to explosive charge, which she sold me on the last floor. It's like, cool, like, you bought things for me, great, don't talk to me again, ever. It's also very God damn it. <clears throat> Sorry, I accidentally like clipped the clipped the cord of my headphones while I was trying to shift positions there. I was gonna say this run also seems to be doing a rather good job of Pardon me. Of boosting up my signature gauge, so I'm getting a lot of signature shock assaults. Which, yeah, won't be too helpful against the twins, but as of right now, also... Oh, so I can get up to 25. Hey, at least you're not the flower blight lady in Breath of the Wild, so... Yep, there's that. Okay, so in case you're wondering, Breezy Gray Canvas has an effect that I didn't know about. That plus 100%, that's your chance to evade attacks while dashing. So that is actually the reason to take this, is that you can just go through just about anything while you're dashing. Then there's a 40% chance that anytime you do that, there's going to be a... 
another set of shadows that pops up to help out. So, and I don't mean like anytime you dash through an attack, I mean anytime you use your dash here. Through. She really does not want to help me out here. Seriously, Iris, what is your problem with me? Though I can see that she's selling flame fusion, that's something. She doesn't want to upgrade Ice Dagger, she doesn't want to upgrade Earth and Aegis, she doesn't want to upgrade Explosive Charge. Like, seriously, why are you here if your whole point is just to taunt me and make me feel like crap? Hey, maybe that is her. Maybe that is just her entire point for being here. She just wants me to feel like garbage at all turns. Sleepy Thunderstone. Hmm. <laughs> like Strongman's Hammer is definitely the right idea. And the idea being that I don't really need a, need to worry about my cooldowns because this is my primary form of attack. So now I've got to ask, when you were putting this run together, did you know that this was going to happen? Or is this more of a theory craft? Like, had you tried putting this together before and it just didn't work out for you? Or was this something that you were just kind of playing around with and said, Oh yeah, let me pass that on. No, don't get me wrong. I like I like what we're working with so far. It's actually been... It's actually quite refreshing and stimulating to the senses. It's... Ow. Oh, even faster. Alright. Then... Combo Glove. Actually, I'm gonna leave Combo Glove. I'm gonna move on to the next floor with some money in case Iris comes to her senses. Though, if the last couple of runs are anything to go by, she won't. And again, either way, I think the idea is I don't necessarily need the combo glove in order for this to be a successful run. Infernal Beam is nice, but I'm gonna stick with the bouncing bubbles. To me, that's that's much better area control to begin with. Oh whoops. I made an oopsie. Oh, I don't even have to fight these guys. Thanks, guys. Makes my makes my work a lot easier. Now, I also know that on the Wizard of Legend Discord that there is a challenge very similar to this. 
Except for it's not this is your primary option, it's this is your only option. And I'm pretty sure they don't have you start with the Breeze and Drake Handles. Which, if you ask me, kind of makes the run, now that I'm really playing around with it. Okay, so she's finally going to let me upgrade the Ice Daggers, but still no upgrade for Explosive Charge. Okay, you sold me that one yourself. You know I have it. Like, for what it's worth, I really do think that's part of what determines whether or not she's, if she offers you upgrades. Yes, I should have taken the portal. Shut up. Is that, is basically your win streak. Like, how long has it been since you've lost a run? And I'm not saying that as, like, a hidden flex. I'm just wondering, because I have won an awful lot of runs in the road. Like, I think ever since I beat, uh, since I beat Super Sura, I haven't lost a run since then. That's not true. I can think of one that I lost recently. So... Yeah, it really just is that she just doesn't want it, doesn't want to help me. And yes, I'm aware that that's all more or less random chance, but... I'm also wondering if that isn't just, you know, something, something on my end of things. Like, am I really just that unlucky at all times? Oops. That was poorly timed. Fairy! <laughs> there we go, and we have enough money to purchase that without thinking about it. Alright, what's better than a run where you just shoulder tackle people's faces off? A run where you shoulder tackle people's faces off while wearing a Napoleon hat. Now, the only way that would be getting any better is if I could put on a court jester's hat and just dance on people's faces as they fall over. Use those iframes. Mm -hmm. And we'll take this. No, actually, I do have a use for it. What am I talking about? There we go. Concept of random chance will. Sorry, buddy, but I'm too quick for you. Yeah, I saw what you were going for, but I just have to say no. No. Once again, I'm going to make the foolish mistake of waiting. Because in my mind, I keep thinking Iris is going to help me out by upgrading the stuff that I haven't upgraded yet. Well, also, though, 
I can definitely talk to Seville and get my robe upgraded for greater evasion and critical hit chance. Though when your evasion is near 100% anyway, does it really matter? Sonic Speed. Hey, I just thought about this. It's a really cool idea for a new realm. I, I get the feeling that someone's probably thought of this already, but what about a relic that skin, that offers you a damage bonus for for your movement, like at, in accordance to your movement speed bonus? Wouldn't that be interesting? long ways out of my way for goddamn nothing. And that would... It, it might potentially be a bit of a broken relic in the long run, but... I'd also like to point out that in case you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna put together this build and be unstoppable, well, we've got a very high utility build here, but a lot of the power is coming from the relics that have picked up along the way. Like, you're not normally going to get, like, 42 damage, like, dash slaps. Now, that having been said, like, I was getting, like, 20 and sometimes 25 even before I picked up all these relics, so you're not... There's no weakness to it. Oh, now she finally up, upgrade, upgrades my stuff. Thanks. Thanks, Iris. Thanks for helping out only at the very end of the run. Hey, you're getting on my nerves, boy. Oh, hey, there's the Boots of Celerity. I say that because this floor has seen me make a few mistakes, and I'm hoping that my brain is either big enough or wrinkled enough that I can learn from those mistakes and not make the same ones over and over again. No guarantees, though, because, you know, I'm not always the sharpest tool in the shed, if I may be completely honest. Uh, Mercenary's Dagger or Paranamasicon are probably the biggest opportunities I have. And especially since the Mercenary's Dagger doesn't take any gold from you when you're using your basic or your dash. Ooh, I'm smart. Mmm, pits. Like the one time I've effectively used a pit to my advantage. Hey, you guys are jerks. Oh, 
Okay, so it stacks 5% every time you perform a dash. Which, since that's about all I'm performing... Yeah, this is a very interesting way to win a, to, way to win a run. I kind of unintentionally performed a friggin' tongue twister there. Okay, so between the Pewter Bracelet and the Elixir of Might, which isn't really doing diddly dick right now, but then the Mercenary's Dagger and the Strongman's Hammer, we've got quite a bit of damage up. I'm sorry, Dr. Song, I've made too many silly mistakes. Your gift might have been in vain. sure that was a fairy. I was wrong. I mean, I'm looking at Jade's Chakra Locket, and now I'm remembering I have this, so I'm not gaining the gems, so... Eh. Oh, well. Oh, but there is something I do need. I can feel my, I can feel the strength coursing through my veins. Oh, we never found Iris. I guess the question is, do I care? And yeah, I do. I'm just curious as to what she's gonna sell me. She's really intent that I take rock and roll, even though I dropped that a good few floors ago. I do like Erupting Cannonade, but I don't think it fits this run. Same with Tidal Blast. Tidal Blast more so fits the run, but I think I'm cool with what I have. Sweet, I can just pick that up. I hope I didn't miss any of the other painter's items, because I haven't really been paying attention, so that's kind of my bad. For the freeze frame moment, no, because it was effective against the twins. And also for the freeze frame moment. Well, that was just awkward. run turned out so good, like, like, you have no idea. Hmm. 
All right, we're going to put on the oversized tiara, which, let's face it, that almost is a court jester hat right there. Now, we don't have a ton of money to feed into the Mercenary's Dagger, but that's okay because I'm not really using a, using a ton of standard or not. Ah, I screwed up. Ooh, boy did I make a stupid one. And there we go. So actually, yeah, this run turned out to be quite strong. But let's be let's also be a hundred percent fair. That should be mostly attributed to the crazy relics that I picked up during this run. Now that having been said, I do still like what I was working with here. The chaotic echoes dash in conjunction with the breezy gray canvas is actually a very strong starting point. And anyone who's looking for something just a little bit different, give it a go. The robe matters far less than just, you know, smashing your face into your enemies. And, you know, the more face smashing you do, the better it feels. It's like, it's like Ray Parker Jr. said, Bustin makes me feel good. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the run. This was a very different take on a movement-based run, and I'm actually kind of happy I tried it out. Less happy with Iris, but I mean... That's more of a domestic problem that needs to be worked out between the two of us. So I hope you guys enjoyed. There was a lot to like about this run. Uh, drop me a comment, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, this is normally where I talk about Wizard of Metal, but that poll is now over, and the next one won't be posted until tomorrow. So just get yourselves ready for the next Wizard of Metal video, which will also be coming tomorrow. And... Yeah, that's about all I've got, so thank you guys for coming and spending some of your valuable free time with me. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next one. My name is Darksage Walker, and I will be seeing you.